Hi, it's Owen from All About Braces again, here to answer some of your commonly asked orthodontic questions. Today I want to talk a little bit about expanders, what they are, why we use them, what they look like. Let's begin with what they look like. Typically, uh, most of our expanders would look something like this, where, as you can see, there are rings around the back teeth and a little screw that sits at the top of the mouth. So this would sit like that inside the top of your mouth. Now, typically, most expanders are used on younger children, although we do use expanders all the way up into patients even as late as their early 20s. Um, although, as I noted, the most common use would be in patients getting phase one orthodontics, which we'll explain in another video, but in the ages of, say, 7 to 13 are most common. Why do we use expanders? Well, um, often what you'll find is many children uh, have their development so that their top jaws are rather narrow, more of a, a V shape, and their bottom jaw is more of a U shape. What that often creates is what we call crossbite, where it may look like in the front of their mouth their teeth are properly positioned with their top teeth being ahead of their bottom teeth, but as they move towards the back of their mouth, because that top jaw is narrow, the teeth actually cross, and the bottom teeth then move either equal to or in front of those top teeth. Crossbites can be a problem for many reasons. It affects how uh, somebody can chew. It can affect uh, the development of the teeth as the child grows. And fortunately, there's an easy way to solve that, which is expanders. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that much like babies have soft spots on the roof of their top of their heads, um, children also have soft spots on the roof of their mouths. And unlike babies where the uh, soft spot that we're referring to at the top of your skull forms within that first year of life. The soft spot at the roof of your mouth doesn't form until throughout puberty. And so for younger children, ages 7, 8, 9, 10, even into early puberty, 13, 14, 15, as those bones either are not yet attaching at the roof of the mouth or have just begun to attach, we can, using expander, expand out the mouth this way creating more of that U-shape and adjusting those back teeth to no longer be in crossbite. Often we'll have patients wear those expanders for a few weeks, uh, where every week the screw is slightly turned by a parent um, to slightly further expand the expander and, and therefore expand the jaw. And then after those few weeks of expansion, we'll leave the expander in the mouth for the following months, uh, often four, six, eight months, depending on treatment. Uh, to make sure that the position that we've created is maintained in the mouth. So don't be surprised if you bring your child in for early orthodontic treatment, and we recommend an expander, that you would likely uh, understand that we'll be talking about an appliance that might look like this for your child's mouth, that its purpose will be to expand their upper palate or their upper jaw, to often address those issues of crossbite uh, and making for the back teeth to have a more proper bite and adjustment to their mouths. Hope that helps answer some of your questions about expanders and look for more videos from us about answering commonly asked orthodontic questions.